Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. But today we're talking about planning and we live in such a busy world and we're always connected to our phones. So for many of us, it's hard to visualize our plans and we forget our plans. So that's why today I'm going to be talking to you about my top tips on planning and how I keep my life organized. So I just wanted to mention my favorite pens. These are the Muji pens in the point zero three eight. Um, but let's get started on getting yourself a planner or page inserts that work for you. So here I'm taking my Sesavi inserts from my Kate Spade Wellesley planner. All the product links will be down below, so definitely check out the description. But I'm going to take you through day to day, hour by hour, what I need to plan. Some of us have such busy days that we do need to keep track of meetings and phone calls and interviews. So make sure you write everything down that comes to mind then and there because you might forget when someone tells you, oh, let's get dinner this time or, oh, this is when we'll set up our phone call and you just don't have your planner with you. That's why I love the Kate Spade planner because it also acts as a wallet. So I do keep this in my handbag for most of the days. But for me, I do have busier days and then I have less busy days. So it's important for me to know the purpose of my planner. When I was in college, my planner was used for keeping track of my homework and my schoolwork, but now this planner really keeps track of my YouTube and blog work. I write down everything from discount codes to new video ideas and blog ideas, so I love having a space where I can just put everything down. Another tip is to use stickers and colors like highlighters if you're a visual person like me. But my next tip is to have a week view notepad on your desk to see your availability. This is just really easy when you're on the phone with someone or you're texting someone and they ask you, you know, when you're free, you can see what events you're going to, who you're having dinner with, when your work schedule is, so that you're not overbooking yourself. And when you have blocks of space where you know you're not working or you don't have anything, then you can fill up your events during that time. So I love having this notepad and again, all the product links will be in the description bar so definitely check that out but my next tip is to ask yourself are you a day planner or a week view planner and this is really in depth but this might be a big factor for you when you're looking for your next planner but I've tried both and I don't want to say that one is better than the other. They're both just really different. So when I was in college, the week view made a lot of sense to me because I could see what homework assignments and what chapters I needed to read for my exam on that Friday. Um, so it was easier to see all of the things in one place, whereas now my life is a little bit different. So having the daytime view and having the hours Having it broken up like that just makes more sense for my schedule now. But definitely ask yourself that question. Take a look at the options that you have. There's so many different stores and Etsy stores, Amazon, Target. There's so many different options for you. And you can try out all different things. I've tried Erin Condren. Definitely recommend that. This is Mod Mode Designs. I love the um, custom customization that you can do with these planners and I also really love Cesa V which has a very professional aesthetic and um, yeah so definitely take a look take some time to see what you like and maybe bullet journaling or bullet planning might be the way to go for you too but my last kind of tip to just close up this video is to project plan um, so this book has like budget planning and expense planning and project planning as well so here is my last tip of execution made easy. Um, I'm planning this movie night for my youth group at my church, and I was just thinking of all the different things that I had to do. Everything from getting the projector to the screen to what movie to pick to what day I should start marketing the event to how much we need for snacks and popcorn and drinks. So there's a lot of factors that go into planning one event. Um, as you, most of you guys would know if you've ever planned a birthday or um, a bridal shower. So having a place like this, a format or a template, I guess, um, to just write everything down is really easy. Even if you're not a list person, you have blank space to just write down all the things that are going on in your mind um, from what order and what steps you should take. Like I needed to get certain approvals. I needed to choose the movie. I needed to ask the kids what they wanted to watch and different things like that. So there's a lot of different things that go into planning an event. Um, but I hope that this kind of gives you just a little bit of insight or maybe some inspiration on the 
next event that you're planning. Um, again, I will leave this exact book that I'm using down below in the description. Really handy to use, but you don't have to use something like this. You could easily use like a sheet of paper, obviously. Or you can use your notes app, which is totally fine. But I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys who are curious about my planner videos and planning and how I've been planning my life since coming back from school. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.